What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Currency Counts where I cover all things money, from how to save money, make more money, side hustles, and everything in between. Now in today's video, I'm gonna cover a personal loan that you can receive up to $35,000, even with bad credit. And best of all, it's instant approval. So let's get right into it. This channel is all about getting out of debt, staying out of debt, and setting yourself up for a good financial future. But understanding sometimes we need quick cash, we need to pay our bills. I want you to be informed of to what you're actually gonna be paying if you're gonna be taking out loans like this anyway. The product we're gonna be talking about today is called Lending Point. And Lending Point offers loans from $2,000 to $36,500. Now right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the APR is gonna be pretty high because they do qualify people with bad credit. These are not, I'm gonna make my life better loans or I wanna do some renovations on my house loans. These are, I need quick money now to pay my bill loans. So whatever you can do to avoid a loan like this, please do it but if you're gonna do it anyway might as well know the numbers might as well know the terms of what you're actually gonna be paying lending point has an APR of 9.9% to 35.9% and terms from 24 months to 60 months you can borrow 2,000 up to $36,500 this loan has an easy qualification process you're gonna check your rate you're gonna enter all your information once you finish your application they're gonna send you an instant approval Best of all, when you submit your application, they're gonna do a soft pull. And then with that soft pull, it's not gonna go on your credit report. So they're gonna give you terms, they're gonna tell you, you qualify for a thousand, you qualify for 36,000, whatever it is. Once you accept those terms, they're gonna make a hard pull on your credit report and that will show on your credit. Once you accept the terms of the loan, an account specialist will call you and ask you for some additional information. You have to submit your ID, you have to submit your bank statements and your check stubs. Once that's done and you get final approval, you'll have funds deposited into your checking account in one business day. And the actual lender of this loan is gonna be Finwise Bank or First Electronic Bank. Both are Utah chartered banks. Whenever you see Utah chartered banks, you might wanna think twice or take it with a grain of salt because banks chartered in Utah usually have looser regulations so they can charge more in APR. So what do you need to qualify for this loan? You need a credit score of at least 580, at least $20,000 in annual income, and a debt to income ratio of less than 40%. What that means is if you have an annual income of $20,000, you can't have more than $8,000 worth of debt. One thing to know is that there might be an origination fee of zero to 6% depending on what state you're in. So for example, if you get qualified for $10,000, there possibly can be an origination fee of $600. What's that fee for? Well, just for taking out the loan. So now you know why having good credit is so important. You think people with good credit over 700 get origination fees of $600? Well, maybe if you're buying a house, right? But not for a personal loan or not for a credit card. That's right there seesawing on predatory, allegedly, allegedly predatory. $600 origination fee. If you go to $36,500, just imagine what that origination fee will be on that. One thing I'd say that's okay about this loan is that it's not auto draft. They don't automatically pull it from your checking account. You actually have to go into your account and make payment either through the app through the phone or through your account online. They do report to two of the three major credit bureaus, which is Experian and TransUnion. Another thing that's okay about this loan is that you can request up to 14 days of delayed payments with no fees. Also, you can request loan modifications throughout the life of the loan. For example, if you're about halfway done with the loan and you wanna lower your payment, you could extend your payment date, maybe another six months, another year, and that'll lower your payment. But you also gotta remember if you do that, you're gonna end up paying more in interest in the end of the loan. So let's go here to this very fine print at the bottom here. And we're gonna show you what you're actually gonna be paying for this loan. So a $10,000 loan for a period of 48 months at 23.72 APR and an origination fee of 6% will have a payment of 324.48 per month. See right here, they're not even telling you what you're actually gonna be paying. They're just telling you your payment. So that's one of the tactics a lot of these companies use. They want you to look at the payment of what you're gonna be paying per month, but they don't want you to look at the terms. They don't want you to look at how much you're actually gonna spend throughout the life of the loan. So let's go through another example here. A three-year term at 36 months at 23.4% with the loan amount of $15,000 would be a monthly payment of $584. And you might be saying, well, 584 bucks for 15 Gs, not bad. 
at the end of the loan, you're gonna pay $6,024 in interest. And that's not even including if you modify the terms of your loan. So if you wanna lower that payment after a year and a half, two years, you can do that, but you're gonna end up paying more in interest. So right here, this $10,000 loan, for 48 months, which is four years, you're paying $324.48. But how much are you actually paying? You're probably gonna end up paying another six grand in interest or five, somewhere around there, just in interest. That's, that's ridiculous. Again, that's why you need to have good credit. Ask yourself, what can you do with $6,000 besides give it to the bank? So what else can I say about this loan product here? We pretty much covered all the bases. 580 credit score, $20,000 in annual income, debt to income of less than 40%. You get funded two Gs to 36,500, terms of 24 to 60 months. So again, if you can avoid a loan like this, please avoid it. But if you need quick money, instant approval right here. The only thing is you're gonna have to actually talk to somebody after you submit your initial application and you're approved. They're gonna give you a call, submit that extra information you need, and you're done. So let me know what you think of this video. This is my third video of these bad credit personal loans. I'm really not sure if I should continue with them because I believe I'm promoting them. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to give you options or show you different options that are out there and show you what you're actually gonna be paying for these loans. Again, if you can avoid it, avoid it at all costs. But these are the options that are out there. People are gonna do what they need to do. So let me know what you think. Check you on the next one.